Welcome back. Today's video, I will be ranking and rating all of the eyeshadow palettes that I tried this year. Some of these I did get in PR. A couple were birthday gifts for my husband at the beginning of the year, and the rest I did by myself. I will try to mention what was what along the way. Now, I have done this video several years in the past, and first I used to do it where I would rank them least favorite to most favorite. However, last year I did it in a different way because so many of the palettes were truly amazing, and so that's what I'm gonna do this year. I'm gonna rank them in three different categories. So the bottom category are palettes that I like but aren't amazing and wouldn't necessarily repurchase. There is going to be a middle section of palettes that are good, but I didn't use them as much as I wished I had. Maybe they were not quite as fantastic as the top category. And then the top category is amazing, wonderful, perfection. I love these palettes. So yeah, there are 34 palettes to talk about. I need to get into this video. Spoiler, most of the palettes are in that top category. So. It is what it is. I tried a lot of good stuff this year, and yeah, I do love eyeshadow palettes. If you are new, please subscribe. I'm uploading every day in December. It is Geekmas. You can check out the Geekmas playlist for more. And yeah, that is it. I'll list the makeup I'm wearing in the description box down below, and let's just get into this. All right, so like I said, there's gonna be three categories in this video. The bottom category, these palettes are good, but they're just not amazing and maybe not worth it when I would recommend other things. Um, the Chanel Quad, this is good, I like it, I do. I got this with Ulta points, but when I consider the fact that this full price costs $54, um, by the way, the one I have is 362. I like these shadows. They are smooth, they are beautiful. They're not like this super metallic formula, which I don't always want. I think these are great eyeshadows, but for $54, I just think, you know, money could be better spent. But I used Ulta Points, so I'm glad that I bought that, but now I know and I don't feel the need to go out and buy more Chanel quads, but I do enjoy that one. All right, and there's only two other palettes in this bottom category, guys, um, and that are these two from ColourPop. Now, I did get these in PR, and these are, this one is called Clear the Air. It is peachy, and it's a good palette, it is. The reason I put these in this category is that there are other ColourPop palettes in the other categories that I think are way better. And I mean that formula-wise a bit. Also packaging, I don't love this plastic packaging. Their quads are also in this packaging though. I just feel like I have these colors. The formula is nice. It's not bad at all. I just, you know, I would recommend other stuff over these. And then the other one is the Coast is Clear, which is more taupe shades. And I did use this one a decent amount. They're good, the mattes are blendable, the shimmers are pretty. Like I said, none of the palettes in this bottom category are bad. I just like way prefer all the other palettes. So let's get into the middle of the road category. These palettes are really amazing. However, I feel like maybe I have similar colors in other palettes, or I just didn't use them as much this year as I thought that I would. And so I do love this palette, but it does go in this category. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. And this is one that I got, this was a birthday gift from my husband and I love it. I love pink tones. It's very neutral. It's very nice. I like the formula on the larger Charlotte Tilbury palettes. I do feel like I have these colors though in a lot of other palettes and it's not anything like unique per se, but the quality is really nice. And sometimes I just want something that is simple, easy to use and nothing too crazy. And that's, you know, that is what this palette is. I really like it, I do. Okay, this one is from ColourPop. This is the Fairy Well palette. I did get this one in PR and I really do like it. I'm gonna keep saying that. Um, but there are other ColourPop palettes this year that I tried that excited me more. I mean, this is a really beautiful neutral palette. It really, really is. I love it. Um, don't get me wrong, 
but I'm just more excited about some of the other color pop palettes that I tried this year. Um, but if you are looking for a more cool tone palette, that is a good one. Okay. I do get some PR from ColourPop, so that's why there's a lot of ColourPop in this video. Um, some of the ColourPop palettes I have, I did purchase myself though. This is one that I got in PR. This is the All Amethyst palette. This one is a beautiful periwinkle shades. Um, it's in this category because I just didn't use it as much as I thought I would. Um, they sent this to me at the beginning of the year and it really is stunning. If you like periwinkle type colors, this is a great selection of mattes and shimmers. Um, I really like the ColourPop formula. I think they've kind of improved their formula in the last year. And this one is great. I just, I didn't use it as much as I wish I had. And then the other one from ColourPop is the Vibe Check palette. This is part of their new line at Target. And I really like it, I do. But again, I feel like this is one where I have the colors in other palettes. This isn't something I necessarily needed. It is really good though, and I particularly love this purple metallic shade here. It is absolutely gorgeous. So it's a good palette. Again, middle of the road. Um, another one is the Urban Decay Naked Sin Mini. I did buy this. Uh, I think I used Ulta Points. And this is kind of like a standard, good, everyday palette. It's very, very nice. Nothing in here is too groundbreaking or revolutionary. However, the mattes are good, the shimmers are good. You can get really simple, everyday looks. And sometimes that's what I want. All right, and then last up in this category is the Wet n Wild Heart and Soul palette. This is only $5. I bought this at Target. What a pretty color story. And I really think that this is a good formula. This is better than other Wet n Wild palettes that I've tried. I've wanted to film a look with this one. Again, this is one that I didn't use as much as I thought I would, um, considering how much I love these tones. I just kind of reached for the other palettes in like the top category, but like I said, I would still highly recommend all of the palettes in this middle category. Okay, now the top category, <laughs> there's a lot to talk about. Um, no particular order, by the way. The ColourPop quads. Now I said I don't love the plastic packaging. I do think that the formula is better on the quads than on those nine pan palettes in the plastic packaging, these that I mentioned. Um, these, like the metallics in here are that ultra foiled, beautiful, like metallic formula. This one is called Wait and See. So pretty, like some of the most stunning blue eyeshadows I've ever seen and used in my life. I love that one. And then this is my absolute favorite one. This one is called Shore Thing. So, so pretty. Peachy pinks, this really nice brown. The quads are good. They're really, really good. Um, okay, there is more color pop, but I'm kind of like just jumping around. Gemini 2 from Melt Cosmetics. First palette I've ever purchased from them and I love it. I did film a look and review on this when it first came out and Wow, their mattes are so pigmented, but so easy to blend. Their shimmers are a pretty standard shimmer formula, but it's also very beautiful. I love the color story of the pinks and the greens. And yeah, I'm excited I finally tried Melt Cosmetics. All right, this one I got in PR, and it's the What's Up Beauty Geodes palette. This is an indie brand, and their formula is high pigment, high shimmer, mattes are easy to use. This color story, um, yeah, it's amazing. All right, I have to keep going. I gotta go faster because there's a lot of palettes in here. Um, here is another one from ColourPop. This one I bought myself and I am just, I'm in love with this one. This is the Wine and Only palette. Look at these burgundy tones. These colors are so rich and pigmented, but easy to use. It's a really beautiful palette. Um, there is more color pop. Okay. Or kid you not. This is one that they sent me in PR and I think this is just as good as wine and only. So I would say if you want more reddish burgundy tones, go with wine and only. If you want more smoky purples, go with this one, the or kid you not. Both are amazing, um, but they are just a little bit different in that way. 
Also, by the rosé, if you like pink tones, um, hello, this one is stunning. I really love it. A few of these shades are similar to the Natasha Denona Retro palette. So, I mean, overall, this one is smaller. It has less options than that palette, um, but this one is really good. Amazing ColourPop formula. Really happy with that one. Okay. Sigma New Mod. This one, I bought this like the day it released because I am absolutely in love with this color story. The purples, mauves, neutrals. Personally, I really, really enjoy the Sigma formula. This is the only palette I bought from them this year, but I do have several other palettes that I purchased from them in years past and really, really nice formula. I am a big fan of that. I only bought one palette from BH Cosmetics because they had their whole, like, they're in this changing process where they got bought by Makeup Revolution, and I don't know. They haven't really released anything that's been a lot of interest to me, so when they had their whole, like, filing for bankruptcy things, a lot of their palettes were showing up in Marshalls, and that's where I bought this for, I think, only 7 or $8.00. It is stunning though. It really, really is. I mean, the mattes are amazing. The shimmers are very foiled and metallic. Amazing. Okay, um, let's see. Let's talk. This is Indie Brand, Unearthly Cosmetics Poison Apple Palette. I tried this brand for the first time. I talked about it in my best indie makeup video, and this is amazing. This has duo chromes, multi chromes. The mattes are very high pigment. I'm really impressed and I wanna try more from them. Um, let's see, okay, also, I have two palettes from Nomad Cosmetics that made it into this top category. I really fell in love with Nomad this year. It is my first time ever trying the brand. I bought the Fete de Provence palette. Their artwork, oh my gosh, amazing. Um, and look at this color story. Their mattes are very easy to blend. Their shimmers are beautiful. It's just a really easy to work with formula and I really enjoy it. Then the Hudson Valley palette came out this year. This one they sent to me in PR, which was super exciting. I am absolutely in love with this color story. I love warm tones so much. Really, really nice. I am really impressed with them. Okay, I only bought one palette from Odin's Eye this year, but it was amazing. The Hella palette from Angie, and she did a fantastic job. This color story is really gorgeous. Like the pinks, the greens, like it's just, it's so pretty. And I really love the Odin's Eye formula. I do have some of their other palettes. They had actually sent me in PR last year. This one I bought myself. And this is very consistent with the formula in the other palettes from them that I have tried. All right, Natasha Denona Mini Biba. This one, I think I got this for my birthday at the beginning of the year from my husband and wow, it is gorgeous. This metallic is stunning. Also, one of her cream to powders is in here, which I really love. I hope she starts putting more cream to powders in her mini palettes. I mean, the shades are basic, but it's amazing and the formula is top notch. So I am really, really impressed with that. Okay, a couple more ColourPop palettes to talk about. Um, this is one of the ones I got in PR. This is the Enchanted palette. This is the most beautiful purple color story I've ever seen. I am absolutely in love with this palette. The formula is really, really nice, metallic. The mattes are easy to use. I'm just so in love with this selection of purples. It's, it's just everything I want in a purple palette. Okay, then the On The List palette. This one is so lovely. Um, this one has an interesting combination of colors. You get this beautiful red burgundy, you get this duochrome, this lovely teal, and then the matte shades are a bit more on the neutral with these kind of like khaki greens. It's a really nice color story and I really enjoyed using that one. All right, I think this is the last ColourPop palette to talk about. This one I bought myself and it's the Hocus Pocus palette. This one was called All Hallows Eve. I love it. I love it. I really do. Um, absolutely amazing. And I'm so happy they did not put 
pressed glitters in a lot of these palettes just because I don't really like that formula. And they came out with this new formula this year, which I really like. It's not a glitter, but it's sparkly. It's really, really nice. And yeah, loved this one too. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I still have like seven or eight more palettes to talk about. Like I said, the total was 34 palettes. Um, I tried this brand for the first time, Blend Bunny Cosmetics Dollhouse Palette. This is the only palette I've tried from them, but it's really impressed me. The mattes are on the thinner side, but I think they blend well and the shimmers are gorgeous. And I love this array of colors. I don't normally go for such large palettes, but there is something about that color story that I just truly, truly love and it really attracted me to it. Alrighty, Sydney Grace. I purchased the Be Mine palette when they had a sale in the summertime and wow, just wow. Formula is amazing. Now, I mentioned in that Top Indie Palettes video that I did, I'm at the point where I think Sydney Grace may be my number one formula or tied with Natasha Denona as number one. It is just so good and the metallics are so foiled that you don't even need a wet brush or anything and it's just amazing. So I'll go ahead and mention the other Sydney Grace palette that I bought. Um, I bought this around Black Friday and this is their Sweet Indulgence palette. And I think it, this was on sale for $10. A few of you guys said that it was because they're discontinuing it. Um, so I don't know that this is gonna still be around, but it's, it's amazing. I'm glad I bought it. Alrighty, um, I tried Patrick Ta for the first time this year and I bought the Major Dimension 2 palette and I really, really like it. I did a full video on this one as well. Check out the eyeshadow palette playlist because I have a lot of eyeshadow palette related videos there. And then if you are interested in Get Ready With Me's, those you will find in the Makeup Looks playlist. So check that out. This one is one. I did film a look with and I'm impressed. I'm happy I bought it. Alrighty, I did end up buying the Natasha Denona My Dream palette and I'm really in love with it. I really am. Like I said, I love the formula, so that was no surprise, but this color story is just such a lovely combo of peaches. You get a great black, purples, berries, this duochrome, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I did film a look with that one as well and I'm really happy I bought it. I ended up purchasing two Pat McGrath Mothership palettes this year and both made it into this top category, Moonlit Seduction. Now this I did not buy that long ago, but I've used it several times, I'm wearing it today it's amazing. I mean, it's just amazing. Pat McGrath shimmers and the sparkly shades are just, they're really unique, I think. Um, some indie brands definitely make some amazing multi-chromes and shimmery shades, but there is just something I think I really enjoy about the Pat McGrath formula and the mattes are very good. Usually people talk more about the Pat McGrath shimmers, but I think her mattes are really pigmented and easy to blend. So I'm glad I bought that one. And then I also got this one on really good sale too, Divine Rose 2. Very happy I purchased it. It is stunning. Pinks, mauves, purples, some of my favorite shades. And I'm really glad I bought both of those Mothership palettes, especially on sale, especially on sale. I mean, full price, they are $128. So, you know. I also got this 20% um, off at Sephora, and this is my first time ever trying a larger Huda Beauty palette. And I'm impressed, and I'm really happy I purchased it. It's the Empowered palette. I did film a look with this one when I got it, and it is a really good formula. These mattes are so smooth and easy to use. There are also two creams in this palette, and the shimmers are just beautiful. This color story, purples, golds, mauves, amazing. And you can do some really dramatic, smoky looks with that. So that was the last one. That is it for this video. I just thought it made more sense for me to kind of categorize them this way because none of these palettes are bad. I really enjoyed all of them. And honestly, I would, 
like strongly recommend any of them um, except for like those bottom three just because I think there's better stuff out there. But I mean, the Chanel quad is really good. I just don't think it's worth full price. So anyway, that is it for this video. So if you want to see more eyeshadow related content, check out the eyeshadow palette playlist. And if you missed any Geek Miss videos, check out the Geek Miss playlist. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.